What's up, everybody? Tony Pizza Guy here, along with Project Nine Gaming. Ango, how is it going today? It's going great. I want to talk to you guys today about Undertaker's WrestleMania opponent. Okay, all right, all right. So we have Undertaker. Now it's not even for sure that Undertaker is going to come back for WrestleMania because it's not it's not a thing that that always happens because Undertaker chooses when he wants to come back. But uh, most recently, it's been like the big marquee match for WrestleMania. We all know that Undertaker is going to come back. He's going to have a match. This year, what are your thoughts? Who, who do you got for WrestleMania? So there's two guys I would love to see The Undertaker verse. And uh, even though some of the more logical choices would be John Cena, I'm really into possibly having that match with Brock Lesnar. I feel like they have a lot of potential with this kind of match, the hype. Everything goes back to that moment at UFC. Um, but if it's not Brock Lesnar, I know in a lot of our recent videos, I keep talking about Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns might be that guy to end the streak. I just feel like he would actually have some serious potential to become a threat. Uh, I don't know if he's ready for it, you know? And it's the same thing with Bray Wyatt. I feel like Bray Wyatt and Undertaker could totally pull off something great in terms of storylines. Um, everything that we've seen from CM Punk with, you know, Paul Bearer and everything like that, like that whole storyline, the storytelling between CM Punk and Undertaker was so great. Um, so I definitely feel like Bray Wyatt's a logical choice in terms of storytelling. Maybe he's not up to that par just yet. Um, but there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of guys out there who can possibly have this main event WrestleMania match with The Undertaker. Because I feel like definitely with Undertaker, if he does perform at WrestleMania 30, I feel like it has to be the main event match. It has to be the last match. Uh, WrestleMania 30 is a big deal. Um, so with that being said, there's so many guys, you know, I can see being there, but my top three right now would be Bray Wyatt, Roman Reigns, or, uh, Brock Lesnar. I got you. I got you. I got you. I believe that. I, I think Roman Reigns would be an awesome threat. And, and now that I think about it last year, uh, Punk went up against him, right? That was the, the thing with the Paul Bear and yep. all that good stuff. And now Roman Reigns is going up against Punk. Roman Reigns beats Punk. Then we can say that Roman Reigns is better than Punk, so then he's a threat to the Undertaker. He's, he can he can just claim, you know what, CM Punk couldn't beat the Undertaker last year, but I beat CM Punk, so what does that mean? That means I'm going to beat the Undertaker. I think that would be a great storyline. But I do think that the two most uh, credible threats against the streak, which honestly, if I'm going to say this, I don't think that the streak should end. I think it's good enough to just keep it going and going and going and going so Undertaker can come back for one match every year and still have something worth value for the undertaker but two threats that i think would be uh brock lesnar because you know we we talked about the ufc thing where he said hey are we gonna do the match and it was supposed to happen for a couple years but it never did and john cena i think john cena would be a perfect choice and even if you wanted to have john cena beat the streak which i honestly don't think the streak will ever end but if you had john cena defeat the streak imagine the heat that john cena would get the fans would go crazy and john cena could claim that he's the guy that beat the undertaker streak and the fans would riot Okay, so let's go with John Cena as the winner. Does John Cena turn heel? He doesn't need to turn heel. He's already going to be get so much heat that he's going to be a bad guy just by beating The Undertaker. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, he he won't turn heel ever. I don't think WWE, the WWE machine will ever turn him heel. I think he's too good as like a, a tweener, a base, and controversial whatever he is now yeah. um and it, when you look at john cena on paper all the the moms think he's good looking the, he, he's a nice guy he's good for the kids so they'll say oh well we'll take him to the wwe event john cena look at him he's make a wish and mr good guy so i don't think turning him heel would be a good thing um we have enough heels right now in the in the company with Ryback'sel. So you got the wyatts the shield uh, there's Batista coming back. He could be a heel. We have Brock that's a heel. So there's so much going on right now. But uh, it's interesting because there's there's a lot of guys that could be up there. I, even uh, even uh, you didn't mention this, but uh, I think even Daniel Bryan would be a a real threat to the Undertaker if he would go up at WrestleMania as well. You know, and I love that. You know, I love like I love just throwing out names and just kind of getting that idea. And you mentioned Daniel Bryan, but in terms of storytelling, I can't see something too big coming out of it maybe i mean maybe someone will throw out an idea or a story i just can't think of any off the top of my head with john cena he has beaten everybody he has done everything except for ended the streak there is good storytelling right there john cena loses i'm cool with it if john cena wins i'm cool with it i just want to see whoever wins getting some 
benefits, I guess, you know? And that's why I'm really into the idea of having guys like Bray Wyatt or Roman Reigns uh, going against The Undertaker, opposed to Brock Lesnar, who is, you know, even though I think the match will be good and everything like that, you know, I just, I don't think Brock Lesnar has anything to gain from it. I don't think John Cena has anything to gain from it. I don't think even Daniel Bryan has anything to gain from it. I feel like there's so many guys out there who deserve, you know, that WrestleMania match. If if Wade Barrett was not Bad News Barrett right now and he was still this hardcore street brawler, you know, something different, I feel like Wade Barrett's one of those guys who can definitely be a good threat to The Undertaker. However, you know, recent bookings and stuff like that, he's just not credible in my opinion. But there are so many guys out there who should be credible. And that's kind of my issue in terms of Undertaker's opponent because, you know, like I said, there should be other people that can do it. And uh, I love the idea of having other people out there competing against The Undertaker, you know. And if John Cena's not going to turn heel, you know, and I always talk about John Cena turning heel because I'm just so, I really want it to happen one day just to kind of witness it again. Um, but John Cena is going to be so hated that it's like, you know, he's going to, he's not going to have anything else to do except for become a heel and just pretty much, you know, whether it's cheating to win or something like that, he just has to do something that furthers his character a little bit longer. And I don't want to see anything like what he's done with the rock where, Oh, we shake hands and hug and Oh, we pass the torch and this and that. Like I want it to be like, Yo, I just beat your ass. I just ended your streak. I'm John Cena, and I just did my heel turn, and nobody even realized it. And, like, I just want it to be that good. You know what I'm saying? And I'm afraid that putting John Cena against The Undertaker, it's not going to be anything too special um, right away. I don't know. I don't know if that's the best way to put it, but I feel like there's a lot of other options that are better than just John Cena going for the uh, streak. So. Right, right, exactly, exactly. Like I like the the best way you put it is if they can get somebody that will benefit off of going up against the Undertaker, whether they win or lose, uh, that's what we really need to see. That's what the streak is meant to be. I think uh, after the stuff with CM Punk and Undertaker, it looked awesome. I mean, really, if you want to like make it a legit thing where where trying to end the streak, we got to go with John Cena. But if you want to make it like you know we're gonna help out the guys, Bray Wyatt, Roman Reigns, anybody like that, that would be amazing. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on your pick for going against The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Do you think the streak will end, or do you think it's going to go on forever, brother? Because I think it's going to be one of those things that never ends until Undertaker calls it quits and throws in a towel. Um, or as Aubrey said, until Undertaker's knees turn to dust and he just blows up <laughs> in the ring. But anyway, guys, Undertaker probably coming back for WrestleMania. We'll have to see who it's going to be. Hopefully our predictions have been true thus far. Uh, we got Brock Lesnar, we got Batista, we got John Cena, we got Bray Wyatt, and we got Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. So any of those are possible good ones. We'll have to wait and see. Again, hit that like button. Subscribe, youtube.com slash Tony Pizza Guy, youtube.com slash Project 9 Gaming. I don't know what else to say. I'm Tony Pizza Guy. Brag out.